Pressure on officials across the country to keep schools open and expanding in-person learning. That's because some states are now allowing teachers to get the COVID vaccine. But unions across the country, notably in cities like Chicago, have fiercely resisted a return to the classrooms. Will the vaccine end the stalemate and get everyone back in the classroom? In Wisconsin, teachers are going to get it uh, starting next week. In New York, starts on Monday, the February 28th. In Colorado, Dagan, this seems to be good news because we kids I know are not uh, are not nearly as vulnerable as adults. They have they get it, they beat it 99.9 percent of the time. Teachers were the issue. Why aren't teachers scrambling to get back in front of the classrooms? because they have the complete inability to think of the kids first and not themselves. And it's disgraceful what has happened with these teachers unions. Even Mayor Bill de Blasio said, yeah, when he starts making sense, look out. He said the safest place in New York City is our public schools. He said this last week as the city's positively positivity rate inches toward 9 percent, the schools are well below 1 percent. Over and over again, you've heard from, say, the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine saying with, you have to have in-person instruction for kids. It hurts them, the lack of interaction, even adolescents. Get them back in school and right. put the unions back on their heels. Mayor Lightfoot of Chicago, one, is uh, really uh, kind of torn. She's giving parents the option of sending their children back to school in person. But so far, these teachers do not want to show up. Fewer than 60% of the roughly 2,000 teachers are coming in. The people that are hurt are low income kids who don't have the infrastructure to even do the remote learning, which is not as effective. Agreed, 100%. Uh, it's best to get those kids back in school. You have to be aware, of course, of the health. But I mean, once you start getting the vaccinations, what is stopping? I mean, the more quickly that people get the vaccinations, the better. And the more people that get it, the better. Uh, so to me, this is like a no brainer. I, I understand that kids can potentially still be spreaders, but that's not been proven to be a big issue here. And what we do know is what you articulated, Brian, that those kids, especially low-income kids, are the ones who are just, you know, they don't have the support at home. If the parents are out working a job or two, come yep. home late. Right. The kids there all day with the computer, it's just very difficult. So I think that you got to have a change of attitude. I understand the safety precautions. By the way, New York City elementary schools are open. Yeah, I, and by the way, Dana, I'm, I'm torn. Some of my best friends uh, in this world are teachers, and uh, they do such an outstanding job, and you don't do it for the money. Uh, you do it because you love kids and giving back and that feeling of, uh, of, great, of raising great people or playing mm -hmm. a role in that. So where do you stand on this? So I think that there are a lot of teachers who want to go back to the classroom, and I think that um, the unions don't represent them well. It's one of the reasons that you've seen, remember that lawsuit that the Supreme Court ruled, that um, you don't have to give your donations to the union? Um, unions all across the board, not just teachers, have seen their memberships fall. One of the things this pandemic has done is expose the situation and given parents this uh, opening to say, well, wait a minute, why do we do it this way? If there are other alternatives, why don't we think about those? So it actually could be quite seismic, the changes. I had a guy on the Daily Briefing the other day named Corey DeAngelis from Reason Magazine. He said that the um, support for school choice has gone way up. And what that basically means is the taxpayer dollars that you pay for your kid to go to school, instead of going to the school district, would go to you. And then you, as a parent, get to decide right. wh what to do with those funds to send your to kids to different sc whatever school you choose. Um, I think there's going to be a lot more of that, Brian. So there might be light at the end of the tunnel in addition to getting these vaccines out. And so $90 billion, uh, Jesse Waters, uh, for in California to get teachers vaccinated. They're all set to make this uh, COVID-friendly. This is odd because Democratic mayors and governors are taking on unions. Uh, they must be saying, how did I get here? How do I get <laughs> out of this? <laughs> I'm just sick of Democrat governors like Andrew Cuomo blaming the feds for not vaccinating enough people. I know. States run their own health care systems. They run Medicare and Medicaid. They administer um, pretty much everything when it comes to regulating hospitals, regulating state hospitals, local hospitals. They have their own health and human services department. I mean, they run their own schools. They run their own elections. They have everything and they're equipped to deliver the vaccine. Who else would deliver the vaccine? A bureaucrat in Washington, D.C., knows what's going on in Suffolk County? No. 
the county commissioner, the mayor, the governor knows what's going on in a place like Suffolk County. The feds gave Andrew Cuomo nearly a million doses. And guess how many he's administered? 175,000. That's less than 20 percent. 80 percent of the Operation Warp Speed doses are sitting in freezers all over New York state. Mm -hmm. That's a failure. Right. And if you can't do right. it, hire totally. someone else that's smarter than you to do it and instead of pointing know, fingers and micromanaging this thing. And as we all know, he'll have an opportunity to include this in the paperback version of his book, How to Beat a Pandemic. <laughs> he'll include his failures, which he seems to have deleted, or his editor, uh, x -Dot. All I could say is the kids aren't learning at home. I talked to more students from, from fifth grade to twelfth grade. It's so hard. A lot of them are just sitting there with the answers to their test on the left and the test on their right. They're going to have to redo the curriculum to make up for the damage this pandemic mm -hmm. has done. Uh, they're going to have to learn two years at the same time, and that's going to put more pressure on mm -hmm. the teachers.